Intrinsic posting can also be applied to the rear foot of the orthosis. This is the traditional extrinsic rear foot post, which is applied to the shell in a separate step after pressing the foot orthosis on the positive cast. So before pressing the post, we have a round heel cup. After pressing the post, we have a post which controls motion of the rear foot, but it's a separate device, so we call this an extrinsic rear foot post. An innovative way to apply a rear foot post is the intrinsic posting technique. This post is actually part of the shell itself. It's integrated into the shell as one unit. And it has another feature in that it has two planes of contact. On the lateral side of the post, there is a bevel, a bevel, or a different angle of plane than on the medial side. This particular orthosis is inverted four degrees, and then it allows four degrees of frontal plane motion. So it has a four degree inverted plane, and then it has a flat plane that is parallel to the contact plane of the forefoot. The practitioner can order four degrees inverted with four degrees of motion. They can order six degrees inverted with four degrees of motion or any variation thereof. The traditional prescription will be four degrees inverted on the lateral plane with four degrees of motion to the inner side or the medial side of the post. So patient contacts the ground inverted, pronates four degrees to mid stance. So there's that four degrees of motion, very nicely calibrated into the intrinsic rear foot post. What are the advantages of a intrinsic post versus extrinsic? Pretty much overall stability of the device because it's all one unit, more durability, and the practitioner still has the ability on this intrinsic post to do some modifications. It can be ground slightly in the office to uh, increase the amount of motion. Uh, material can be glued onto the post to perhaps increase correction. So it, it has quite a bit of versatility uh, compared to the more traditional extrinsic post. This product, made by KLM Labs, is called the E-Tech RX. It is a single shell with an intrinsic post that is part of the original shell and simply ground into the overall device. In so doing, it eliminates the extra step of adding an extrinsic rear foot post. And so besides the other advantages I mentioned, it's less expensive because it eliminates this extra step.